In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the benefits of hitting a heavy bag in boxing. Hello there, this is Pat Berry from Berry's Boxing and Fit Builders, the YouTube channel that helps build fit people. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the top three benefits of hitting heavy bag in boxing. You know, the heavy bag was really the only training partner that uh, many of the bo early day boxers had uh, to, uh, to work out with. They'd hang that bag from a tree or from where, wherever they could, and that's where they got their punching power from. That's where they got the endurance from. And uh, without the heavy bag, you know, there's definitely something missing, even in uh, sparring. When you spar, you leave a little bit of you in the, in the ring. But when you hit the heavy bag, it's a win-win situation. You're gonna keep getting benefits from it. You're gonna gain your strength and your conditioning, which are vital in boxing. And in today's episode, we got EJ Cavella, who's going to be showing us and demonstrating for you. The first benefit of hitting heavy bag in boxing is power. EJ, you ready? We're gonna show him how to Go right ahead and punch, give it, there you go, there you go. <laughs> Knocking me out too, there you go. And the movement of the bag, you see how important that is. As EJ throws his power, the bag offers a certain amount of resistance, simulating a person. I see a lot of boxers today when they start working the heavy bag and the bag starts swinging, the first thing they do is stop the bag and they want to hit from a standing still position. Well, that's not realistic. This is realistic. This is somebody in front of EJ that's actually seeing his punches coming and that's trying to move and get out of the way. And if they don't get out of the way by the natural swing, they're gonna suffer the impact of the blows. And EJ is throwing, and you see, pretty ferocious. Whether he hits you with his left or his right, there's that certain amount of impact that takes place. Along with the impact, the heavy bag offers the resistance, and that helps build muscles and build strong punches. The muscles we're building are the muscles that are necessary in punching. So it's not building muscles like hitting weights, it's building the muscles that you're gonna use that are necess necessary in boxing. EJ's pivoting from the balls of his feet, you see his calf muscles tightening up. You see his thighs. You see him turning at his waist and his hips. You see his shoulders coming around. The arm is being extended. And you see the impact of the gloves hitting the bag. Along with hitting the heavy bag and building power on your punch, you're building endurance. If you're standing there throwing punches and you've got no resistance, it really doesn't take much effort. But when you have that resistance coming back at you, that's where that endurance becomes a, a key factor. And that's how you develop a strong punch. Very good, keep going. There you go. The movement is so essential because now you're actually working with somebody or as if you were working with somebody instead of just hitting an object. Very good, there you go, both hands. The combinations you can work off of, same thing, it's gonna derive power from each of your punches as you set and pivot on the balls of your feet. And you keep punching, you'll increase your endurance, you'll increase your power. Very good. Okay, so that is how you get power from hitting the heavy bag. Okay, the second benefit of hitting the heavy bag is range. That's the distance between you and the boxer in order to make contact with your punches. EJ, let's go ahead and demonstrate with that jab. There you go, step in, step in, there you go. When you're ready, throw that straight left. There you go. And you'll see him moving his feet, stepping in. If he steps in with his jab and he doesn't move his back leg up, he's gonna fall short. So he's gotta step in with the jab, move the back leg up, 
and punch with the right hand. Try that real simple, EJ. Jab, step in, and throw the right hand. Jab, step, there you go. So he takes up the, takes up the distance. Jab, right hand, and then left hook. And then come back to the hook. Jab, right hand, left hook. That's it, there you go. And you're gonna move around the bag. And the range comes just from, from uh, experience, just from working the heavy bag day in and day out. Keep hitting the bag, EJ. I'm all mic'd up, I can talk. Just hit that jab, there you go. So he's gonna move in and move out. That jab is the best range finder you can have. But even though it's the best range finder you can have, you don't want to throw it and come up short. So you've got to be able to see with your eyes and judge with your, with your intellect and your experience just how far you can be from that bag so that when you throw that punch, you will be making contact. Remember, a missed punch is just like a missed swing in baseball. It's a strike, and we don't come here to strike. We want to hit home runs. There you go. Let those punches flow, EJ, both hands. Nice and relaxed. You see how he's moving in? How, actually, now he's even bouncing a little on the balls of his feet. That's how you find your range. In and out, in and out, constantly, throwing the punches. There you go. There's a lot that comes into play when you're hitting heavy bag. While you're throwing it, you can see how your punches are landing. You can see if you're stiff arming or if you're, you are coming up and you're too close because your elbows are still bent. You want to hit them at the end of your punches. There you go. Step in and follow through. That's the way to punch. There you go. Okay, so that was benefit number two, finding the range. So benefit number three is footwork and movement. We're gonna go ahead and start with movement to avoid the punches. But is that the only reason you move? No, you move to put yourself in position to throw your punches. That's what we're gonna be working on. You're gonna be seeing EJ moving around the bag, moving in, moving out, finding what we worked on last session, his range, and that's where the movement comes into play. So we're gonna work on avoiding punches, we're gonna work on being in position to throw punches. And we're going to be trying to distract the boxer who we're facing at that time. You know, if you're just standing still, it's very easy. Your opponent can just close his eyes and hit you. All he needs to do is throw straight punches. But when you're offering the movement, there you go. That opens up a whole different can of worms. Now he's got to try to figure out where you're going to be when he throws his punches. And you got him thinking. When you got him thinking other than what he, what he wants to do to you, versus what he's got to do to stay out of the way of harm's way. That's how you win fights. And we're going to show EJ doing that right now. There you go. I think I started sounding a little bit like Teddy Atlas there, but <laughs> that's what you got to do. You got to make him miss, you got to make him pay. It's a simple parody in boxing. Make him miss, make him pay. And you do that by movement. Very simple. Very simple. EJ Reigns a whole bunch of combinations. He's a super quick, super heavyweight. And you'll see his hands go at almost lightweight speed. There you go. Now if he wants to set his harder punches, which we did earlier, setting your power, there you go. He bends his knees a little bit, sits his torso down a little bit, and pivots a little more. There you go. If he wants to be quick on the balls of his feet, like you just saw, he picks himself up on the balls of his feet and he moves at a quicker pace. And his punches automatically start coming out faster. There you go, EJ, keep that jab going. Work it, work it, there you go. And work your way, find your, find your range, sit down and throw that power shot. That's it, there you go. That's it, constantly working. The busier you are, the less time it gives your opponent to, get, to be busy. And that's what we want. We want to confound our opponent. <laughs> and then we want to knock him out. So go ahead and do it, EJ. Work that jab, make him try to move away from that jab, completely taking his, uh, his mind and his throat off your right hand, and then leveling that right hand to him. That up, baby, there you go. Let that right hand go. That's it, that's what I wanted. And you see, he doesn't hold the bag and stop it. 
He just keeps moving like it's the opponent that he's fighting. That's it, EJ, there you go. Very nice. That's it. Constantly. Pepper him with that jab. High and low. Step off to the side and work the angles. If you can watch his feet a little bit, you'll see he does that automatically. But at home, you may not know what he's doing. But that's what he's doing. He's stepping around and taking up different angles on the bag. There you go. That's kind of like that old wise that, uh, the nursery rhyme, you know, hit me if you can. Well, you can't hit him if he's moving. That's it. There you go. Keep that jab working. Align him with the jab and work the power shot with the right. Come back with the hook. That up, baby. There you go. That's what I want to see. Okay, so that was the top three benefits of hitting the heavy bag in boxing. Remember, if you liked what you saw and saw what you liked, please like, share, and subscribe. That'll help us bring more videos like this to you. So remember, this is Pat Berry with Berry's Boxing Gym, where we teach the science, not the violence. Till next time.